Anybody here know what Rule 6.1 is? If so, please raise your hand. Okay. I'm going to ask that you get very familiar with Rule 6.1. 6.1 says that all lawyers have an obligation to provide pro bono legal services uh, to people who can't afford an attorney. And it says that you will aspire as a member of the Idaho State Bar to provide 50 hours of pro bono service. I don't know what aspire means. I'm, I guess it means you don't have to. That's not really the way I look at it. I think if you're going to be a member of this profession, you have an obligation to provide at least 50 hours per year in pro bono service. And it's not like we're being ornery or twisting your arm. It's something that you will actually enjoy. And, you know, years from now, uh, well, when your name gets brought up at one of these memorial services, <laughs> they may say that Miss X or Mr. X was a champion of pro bono. They helped a lot of people. And I keep a little file of responses I've got from people who I did pro bono work for. And, you know, I don't keep a file of the big fees I got from clients or cases that I thought were particularly noteworthy. But I do keep a file of letters from people who say, you know, you helped me out with this situation. You never sent me a bill. And I really appreciated it because it made a lot of difference in my life. And I think that you will find, if you do your pro bono work, give some help to people who need it with the understanding that you're not going to charge it. It doesn't count if you do the work and they don't pay. That's not pro bono. <laughs> that happens a lot. Learn how to charge people and collect your money ahead of time. But tell people when they come in and they don't have the money and, and they need some help, yes, I'd be glad to hand it out for free. You can get those people free clients. You don't have to pay a dime for them. I mean, they are there waiting right now at the Idaho Volunteer Lawyers Program. <laughs> so you can be busy right off the bat with that. And again, the courts are appreciative, and we notice that kind of thing. Just this very morning, there was a decision that appeared on the website in the case of Slain Against Adams, makes a rather uh, substantial change in a uh, family law area. The attorney who handled the case on behalf of uh, Mr. Adams, the defendant, was represented by a person who was handling the case pro bono. And an opinion written by Justice Eisman, here's how the opinion ended. The father's attorney did not request an award of attorney fees on, on appeal because he represented the father pro bono, for which he is to be commended. We recognize when people are doing their pro bono obligation, and we appreciate it. This month, October 20 to 26, is National Pro Bono Week, and it's also going to be Idaho Pro Bono Week. As uh, Diane Minnick, the uh, Executive Director of the Bar, told you, you have a form, uh, along with your powerful certificate, that uh, you can fill out send in to IVLP and just register yourself. It doesn't commit you to give one hour of pro bono. It just says that you can call on me if you have a pro bono case in this particular uh, area of practice and I will either say yes I can do it or no I can't, no problem, no obligation. So now here's, here's the thing on that. I've got another half hour to my talk, <laughs> and so I'm going to give you a choice.
choice. Either commit to me that you will sign that form and give it to IVLP after the ceremony here, or I'll continue on with my job. By acclamation, I am told that you have committed to sign the form you to Well, thank you very much. Uh, now it's time to celebrate. Uh, again, congratulations on behalf of the Idaho Supreme Court. Go out, do good, make us proud. <laughs>